Well, here we are back in Pioneer. This time we'll be playing Demir Mill. Uh, Mill has always been one of a, a favourite archetype of mines, along with discard, that kind of thing. Anyway, so getting into it, so we've got with the land, we've got three Sunken Hollow, three Castle Lothwain, four extra card draw, four Fable Passage to go along with the uh, Ruin Crab. And four watery grave. These will help with obviously fixed mana. We've got six islands and six swamps. So our creatures, we've got four ruined crabs and two Jace Finn's Prodigy. Now obviously Jace Finn's Prodigy is also a, a planeswalker when he flips. He does give a little bit of card draw. Uh when he flips, he gives minus two to creatures, which may help us stay alive that bit longer. Or we can cast one off probably any one spell in our graveyard to help maybe quicken things along. So with our discard package, we have two compelling arguments, which discards up to five. Well, not discard, it's our mill package. Mill's up to five. Uh, we can also cycle this to draw a card. We've got four Madding and Cacophony, which will do eight cards. Uh, it does have a kicker as well, which means uh, our opponent mills half their library. Generally, we don't get that far. Sometimes it has happened, though. Mind Sculpt for another four, and that does another seven cards, and uh, then we've got another four breaking and entering, and that does eight cards. So the, the vast, biggest majority of our, our mill cards are, are for seven and up. So, then we've got four frantic inventory to allow us for some extra card draw. Obviously, the more of them that go into the graveyard, the better. And then we've got our control package, which is four fatal push and four languish. Then we've got the, the big one for the mainstay of the deck. Uh, once this drops, uh, things can spiral out of control very, very quickly. And that is freeing sanity. With a freeing sanity and maybe one or two mill spells, we can easily mill half a deck in one turn. This is the main card that we're looking to drop and get on the battlefield as quick as possible. Then for the sideboards, so we've got three Feed the Swarm. These are for any problematic enchantments like Leilion of Sanctity. It also does double up as creature control as well. And then we've got four Noxious Grasp, which is great against any planeswalker, but it's mainly used against the uh, big fat green creatures, especially ramp ones. Uh, we've got four crypt incursion. These are for he against heavy creature decks, so we can mill a lot of creatures into the graveyard and exile them all with the Crypt Incursion, gaining 3 life for each card. This is especially good against the uh, uh, Red Weenie. And then we've got 4 Leyline of the Void, which is basically for against any kind of graveyard deck. So that is it. Uh, so we're just going to get into it and see how things go. Okay, well here we are uh, with the mere mill. Okay, uh, mm, we've got a free sanity and an anguish, plenty of land. We've got no mill cards though. I think we'll go with it and hopefully draw it into something. We've got free sanity, which is one of the main cards we need. A swamp at the moment. Mm. 
another swamp on the other side. So they're milling cars as well. But are we just going to be helping them along? That's the question. He didn't mind milling himself, but he wouldn't want me milling him. So I'll get the free insanity. And next turn, we can mill for 10 altogether. Maybe unless we draw another mill card, then we can get even more. Doctor. So that's the reason he's milling himself. So I discard the card. Discard the island. See what we draw. Ah, uh, maddening cacophony. So we can definitely cast both of these. So there's 13 plus another 13 from the free insanity, that's 26, that's basically half of his deck. This will be bringing Crocs are back. Attacking for one. Cast that so mill eight. Mill another eight. Three cards left. Now I need to draw another mill card. Because I would only survive one more. No, I'm not, gonna, I'm not even going to survive one turn. So, one time, come on. Let the magic gods be happy to me. Nice to me, I should say. I just need to draw one mill card of any kind. That will possibly do. Another chance. Yes. Oh. 
Enfin, voilà. Go to black. No, another eight. No land. Well, that was a close one. Down to one life. It will bring in. I can either bring in the crypt incursions or the ley lines. Bring in the ley lines and the crypt incursions, I think. Take out the language, they didn't seem as if they were going to be much good. And the fatal push as well. So hopefully we'll get enough life from the crypt incursions. Now we do have a crypt incursion. We don't have the freeing sanity. We'll keep So another frantic inventory, that should be quite good. Takes a card from my hand, so we'll do a watery grave. Another mine sculpt. So we will hit them with that. So there's one, two, three, four, five creatures there. I've another fifth in life. Discard the frantic inventory. Obviously they've got another land in their hand. Ah, oh, second kit incursion, so we'll just play that. We'll pay the two life and I'll hit them with the crypt incursion. Gains quite a lot of life. Got another crypt incursion is back up there. We're a bit slow in milling them at the moment. But that life buffer should be quite good. So I'll get them to mill another season. We've got crocs in there, which isn't good. Play that, see what we draw. I will 
discard the ley line. I'll keep the Fable Passage in hand to discard for the Croxa. So let's see what we get. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Well, let's get another fifteen life. Attack for seven. I've got nothing to discard, but I'm going to take damage from it. Should be okay at the moment. Right, and they're really beginning to pile on now. Another crypt incursion. But no. Creatures in the graveyard. I've got to cast it. We've got nine cards left. So a mind sculpt. Ah, oh, there we go. That will do it. Get in there for the win. Well, here we are back in Pioneer now. Let's see, we are playing Mill. Now, if we are to get one more land, I think I'll mulligan it. So keep that one and put that to the bottom. We've got a free insanity, which is quite good. And we're playing red aggro. So play that.
Is that opening that cool? That seems to be yes. So we'll play the Rune Crab. Play the Fable Passage. We've got Swamp. That's a lot of burn there. Play that. Play the free insanity. I don't think it's really going to matter too much. I do have one block in at least. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to block. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll make them mill. Let's go out with a bag then. Oh! Wow! <laughs> we pulled that one out the out the bag. Oh, that was close. Right, so what did we bring in then? Noxious grasps aren't any good. We've got a fatal push. So if we bring in the crypt incursions. Take it to compelling arguments. Got to leave in the anguish and the fatal pushes. Might as well take it to Jace and that should be it. I've just noticed about sixty two cards in the deck. One land, can't keep that, even though we've got the crypt incursion. Let's keep this, we'll put the lang anguish back, but we need some blue mana. And we've not got it. I 
can't believe we pulled that one just. Oh, that was a close one. More black mana. Come on, we just need one blue. One blue, that's it. One blue, we can get a freeing side and then start hammering them with the mind sculpts. Hopefully, get enough creatures in the graveyard for the crypt incursions. Black mana again, but it's a fatal push though. So we've got that, we can kill one of the creatures anyway. Get rid of that so they don't hit us with any more wizards lightning for cheap. Can we survive long enough? Next turn we can get 14 cards. We've got so much black mana. Right, let's see what we can do. So we'll do that. So we've got one, two, uh, two, three, four, five. It's 15 life. Six. Have to do with the crypt incursion just now. So, no one another seven. Fable Passage, not really that great. Right. I'm doing okay at the moment. I just need one good mill card. Yeah, a compelling argument or a breaking. Either one. Feel push. So we'll sack that, get another blue. Okay. 
Let's feel push on that. Grab another card. <sighs> Come on, just one. Not in any chance of dying at the moment, though, which is good. Not another one. Come on. Can't whiff again. Come on. And I have. Oh my god. Is it really going to come down to this? I've got so much mill in the deck, even a mind sculpt rocked out. I'm within their drawn land. A fatal push now. I can't. I can't draw from the castle lock lane. In case he draws some kind of burden. I've got as a creature back up. Come on. Come on! And another freeing sanity. This is my last chance. Oh no, I lost three life. Oh, just as I drew the card that I needed. Oh man. Just run it back out again then. Yes, we'll go first. That's a mulligan on that. We'll keep this. Swamp to the bottom. Play that tapped. Oh, this we've got a clipped incursion. That should help to three four there. Uh, 
and again really going for it. A languish now. So we've got, let me see, one, two, three, four, five. So there's fifteen life. Bring it in anything that can deal damage to me then, eh? If I can get some good mill spell. Cast the frantic inventory. Oh no, we made a mistake there. Should have left up the mana for the crypt incursion. Can he deal with the southern? Yep. My mistake has cost me the game. Still left up the mana to the cast in the frantic inventory. I would have got that has possibly cost me the game there. Because I would have got more life from that and the cast language next turn. Okay, here we are back with the mere mill. Uh, I think we'll have to mulligan that. Yep, that's definitely a keep. And get rid of the frantic inventory. This is what we're up against. So let's get out the room cab. Well, that's going to help. To try and hold off until we can get the free insanity down. So next turn we can mill 30 cards, provided he doesn't have any kind of counters. Oh, 
or optothetic. So, start with the main sculpt actually. And now I'll get this. There was another 15 cards. Should have this one because next time I can cast Mind Sculpt or even Languish to get rid of these creatures. Let's see, does he have any kind of I suggest I send it to combo one, two, three. No counters as far as I can see. Right, well, let's see if we can end this then. Okay, so mm, the fatal push isn't going to be much good. Well, it can get. I don't think there's anything else I can really bring in. I don't have a lot of creatures. Take it the three of them and bring in the three feed the swarm. Just in case they bring in any enchantments they can help. And we'll go with that. So they're going first. Let's see, we've got two free insanities. A useless fable push, but I think we'll keep this. If we can get the two free insanities out quite quickly, then they can cause a lot of damage. Keep those just in case we get a, a ruined crab. Let me cast in here. Just kind of send it, see? We can do with the feed this one now. Oh, 
the Sovereign Card yet. It's All three insanity out. So can we end this next game? The two of them, so it's eight, eight, so it's sixteen, thirty-two, doubles up that, and that's sixty-four. So yes, we should be able to. Depends if they're able to go off. So they're trying to then. And that doesn't really bother us. And they can turn on one of our friends' sanities to our handle. That does. This form would have been good. See how they do it and see if they, they do. I think there's a very good chance I could win the game if they don't. Casting one for insanity and casting the breaking. So I've got mana for it, but I've got a feeling that. We're not going to get that far. What is the kill card in this deck anyway? Can't remember. Ah, right, that's it. Solve an awakening.
So he's got to get up to seven sevens, which shouldn't be too difficult, I would think. If I hadn't hurried to do that island, I had a fatal push in hand. I could have waited for them to attack with those. If they'd waited long enough. Uh, it's enough. That was nothing else there, so... So have to run it back out again. So yes, we're going first. So two of them. Need land. Feed the swarm, so we'll try this. Oh no, I put the wrong one. Damn it. Right, so we'll play that. We'll pay the two life. See what we draw. I have to put a two life again. I'll play, play this. So we've got a languish. Kill our own creatures as well, but If we can mill enough of their deck, it's going to make them going off that bit harder. There's the Jeskai Ascendancy. And the Sovereign Awakening already.
Please don't tell me this is it. All I need is one land that I can take out the entire high, the entire side, or even if I can get a feed to swarm. But by the looks of things, this isn't going to be it. Well, there we go. It's a sequel in the Balagids. Ah, oh, I've seen enough. I'm not going to sit through this. Oh well, that was a bit unlucky. So, yes, we're going to be playing first, and here we are back with the Mirror Mill. So, we'll keep this. But one of our free insanities, two frantic inventories. Right, so we'll play the water grave tapped. Let's see what we're up against. So another frantic inventory. So we play one of them at the end of the turn. And playing Jeskai again. Playing against a uh, Jeskai Ascendancy combo deck again. Get the free insanity out. Oh well, that's not good. Well, 
this is going to be probably going to lose this first one. Cast the two fancy conventions into their turn. We really do need a freeing sanity. Playing an Omnath deck. Okay. As I said, them getting life does not bother me in the slightest. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight, sixteen. Twenty three. You'll get Uro back. Three to four to five to six. I'll get all three from that. If it stays alive. Oh well, might as well go out with a bang. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, 
Uh, they're going to draw in two or three cards. They don't have a lot of creatures. Definitely bringing the noxious grasps. So it's seven, ten. So if I get a free insanity, depends if that survives, really. There's two mystical disputes, you so very well could have someone's hand. There's an anger. That's eight, fifteen. Two cards left, so I'll have to draw a card. Ten damage. Can they do? The last point. Yeah, but now no cards and has they've got to be able to kill me and did not. We managed to sneak that one right at the end, so we'll definitely be bringing in the Noxious Grasps. And probably the Feed the Swarms. Take out the Pushies. Now it would be better.
having the ley lines. Take it with two of them. Go with that. Okay, it's we will keep. Now I just need one more land. That will do. So yes, we'll pay two life for that. And I'll get out a ruined crab. Next turn we can build one for six. So we've got stuff to deal with early teachers anyway. Still need some land though. We'll just use the smaller one. See if they've got any mystical disputes. So we're going to make email five, okay. Rather than that seven. Oh no. Madden coughing and I'm breaking, I've gone into the graveyard. So they copied that. Another ley line is of no good. Build them for another seven. We got another mystical dispute. Another expansion.
not that time. Here. Not played anything. So cycle the sharp typhoon for four. Kill that. Three, two, three, four. No, I don't have. Mana for that. So I'm going to one on that two. So it's two on that there. There's an Uro. Three sharp typhoons. Just one Uro though. We've got the card for that. Doesn't matter anyway, because it's going to go into the graveyard. Right, so there's the Uro. So there's what? Two Uros there. This is in a reclamation. Another three. All these expansion and explosions are gone. Three shark typhoons and there are three mystical disputes.
Just hit him with a madding and a coffee. So he's got three cards left. Okay, well, we've got noxious crafts to deal with that. There's no point taking any damage. If he's got a mystical depute or any other counter then. There's a mystical dispute. Unfortunately we can't pay anything for that, so we'll take the six. Able passage, that'll do it. And we've got the GGs. So how did it fare in the end? Well, we went 2-2. Two two. Uh, one thing I did notice, we had 62 cards in our deck. So really, two things to come out is either probably going to be the compelling arguments or the two Jace Finish Prodigy. I didn't really see the Jace Finish Prodigy doing much during any of the games. I may have drew us a card or two. Uh, but overall, I didn't really see it doing too much. I'd probably lean towards the Jace Finch Prodigy rather than anything else. Uh, we were very unlucky in one or two games. Bad drawing. Uh, on the verge of winning uh, against the Red Aggro. And it just didn't work out for us. Uh, other than that, I think the deck worked very well. Uh, and it has a lot of potential and it's one that I again enjoyed playing. Uh, for any changes, I, I can't really think of anything that may make the deck a bit better, uh, apart from taking out the two extra cards. The sideboard seems okay. So, that's it. So hopefully I can see you in again in two weeks and... Bye. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you again soon. YouTube is showing a couple of videos you might like. Comment down below. Remember to give a big thumbs up. And subscribe. Bye. Bye.